This is Dabu7. Some updated information here in regards to CERN. We have some tests that have been ran in regards to these B quarks. And I want to break down some info here and also share with you some info that was passed along my way from Casey. And as always, there's a link below. You guys can read into this as well. But to start off here, one of the last big announcements that CERN was going to make had to do with them explaining it was like folding another dimension into the fabric of space-time. This is very interesting talk, and of course when it came time for the results to be told to the public, one of the biggest things that was found in the testing was said to be a blip. Just a glitch or a blip in the data, which others were saying that's just not right, makes no sense. Well now we're getting some new results that they're putting out there and making public in terms of the splitting of these B-corks. And just to let you know, so you know some of the definitions of some of this stuff, the bottom cork or the B-cork is also known as the beauty cork. It is a third generation cork with the charge that you see right here. And this stands for the elementary charge. You can also look into more information on that and the elementary charge here to get a better understanding. But what they say has happened here when they observed the Higgs boson decaying into a pair of B quarks is that it confirms the predictions of the standard model of particle physics. Now, as Casey was stating, when you look at some of the names in the ancient Greek gods, this is where they derive many of the names for many of their tests or their biggest projects. Now this is associated with the Higgs field. For those that don't know, the Higgs is an energy field that gives particles their mass. Now scientists use particle accelerators like CERN to smash these particles against one another. We also have several different places here in the United States that we've talked about that are just like this. Not as large in scale as the one in CERN. This is one of their biggest ones, and I believe they have one out there hidden completely from the public's eye that's even larger. But in doing this, they yield a variety of exotic and subatomic particles when they smash them together. They break them apart, and they get all these different results. And ATLAS is one of six particle accelerators at CERN's LHC, or Large Hadron Collider, and that is in Switzerland. Now, what they're saying is these simulations are suggesting that the Higgs boson should decay into a pair of B quarks roughly 60% of the time. Now, this also shows that a lot of their projects are named and derived after Greek gods, like Atlas, Cernonos. Perfect examples right there. Atlas and Cern both tied into the project right there. Okay, they have a CERN learning program called Minerva, which is another god, and Hera, Petra. They are both super colliders named after gods as well. Caesar was the very first CERN computer. A shout out to Casey for slotting that info my way here before I got this video out. It gives you some background on exactly what's going on there and some updated information here in terms of this test. I'm going to leave a link. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for updates. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch as well. I've got some Seth Rich videos over there and live streams you're only going to find on Twitch. Until next time, this has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.